This process will allow us to configure advanced mapping parameters, called converters, for one of the components we will migrate using the mapping editor. First, select the target project from the drop-down list and click on the Open Mapping Editor button. To configure the parameters of the source element and the destination component, first select the element on the Mapping Editors list. Then click the Edit Parameters button. This window defines how parameters on the old SciTech objects are converted to attributes on the new TGML component, transitioning per instance data on each Genie instance to the new TGML representation. Let's add some parameter mappings. Once all the other parameters are configured, we click on Converters. Converters add powerful data translation functionality to the tool. Each parameter mapping output can be programmatically manipulated in several ways. Each converter takes an input value from the parameter and modifies it before writing it to an attribute on the output TGML node. Alternatively, they may be chained together to allow multi-stage conditions or manipulations before writing to the TGML attribute. The list of currently available converter types and their use is explained in the Graphics Migration Assistant User Guide under the Mapping.xml Schema Details chapter. To add a converter, click the plus button and select from the list of available converters. Notice that when we added the script inserter converter, a new button was displayed. This is the Edit Advanced Configuration button. This functionality allows the user to edit the subnodes on converters that use them. This button is hidden to you if no subnodes are available for the currently selected converter type. To delete a converter, press the minus button. If you have multiple converters, to organize the active converters, select the active converter and click the up down arrows. The order that they are presented in is the order in which they will be evaluated. The output from each converter will be passed to the input of the next. Let's look at another example converter, the DBF lookup converter. This converter allows a data translation based on the SciTech project's DBF database files. This essentially works as a VLOOKUP in the DBF database. In this example, we have specified that the source parameter will be used as the lookup value in the column specified in column ID. The DBF file specified is entered under DBF name. This converter will get the strings in the cluster and name fields, collate them according to the format string and output the name attribute on the final TGML object. To apply the changes to the parameter mappings, click the save button. The number of converters configured for each parameter mapping will be shown in the converters column. Now the new mapping element has been configured for the migration. Note that in the mapping editor, you need to click the save button to add the changes to the mapping file. Otherwise the file will not be updated with the new configuration in the mapping editor. And that is how you use the converters to add powerful data translation functionality to the tool. For more information, you can refer to the graphics migration assistant user guide. Thank you. Thank you.